no introductions needed you guys already know me and i know you would be expecting a video from me so let's skip to the part where i remind you that the life you want will cost you i know i know you've heard this before but i am your beautiful black sister here to remind you that the life you, you want the life that you cost you Why? doesn't because come you're the easy. one who not gonna wants come that cheap. life there's so a lot of things you can get, get that life for you a lot of so, okay so you're going let's to jump make right into today's to get the video. life that you want and best believe you are the only one From the everlasting glory of suffering and pain To the warmth of tender memories that can never be again To always see your smiling eyes, your laughter fills my soul But in my mind erase your tears before I lose Control. Imagine if you were my friend Those days we left behind Fragments of a time and place Still buried in my mind if only I could cast a spell To somehow change the past Erase a page forever From this book I have amassed My Hallucination Visions of the past Pounding in my imagination Images of yesterday I've tried to hide Dark forgotten memories That cannot be denied Tears and conversation So everyone wants a comfortable life, but our definition of the word comfort is different. Now, regardless of your definition of the word comfort, the life you want will still cost you. That comfort means a different thing to you doesn't mean that the life you're chasing will cost you less or will cost you more. There are certain things you will have to let go of in pursuit of the life that you want. Now, a lot of people find it hard coming to terms with the fact that not everyone will be a part of their life's journey so they work so hard they work tirelessly 
to ensure that everyone they have in their life stays in their life. That's impossible, humanly impossible. Now, understand that people will leave you, even people you hoped will stay until your dying day. Understand this and come to terms with it. Stop fighting to keep people you should let go of. Declutter your life by not struggling to keep them in your space. The life you want comes with a lot of sacrifices and I bet you, <laughs> you're not ready. No, no jokes. You're not ready for most of these sacrifices. If you're going to be honest with yourself, you will agree with me that you are not ready. So ready or not, if you have a mental picture of the life that you want, you will work towards that life. There are a lot of things that you are likely going to lose on this journey towards getting the life that you want. That is the truth. Look, it's a situation of you lose to gain, you gain to lose. So there are lots of things that you're going to lose. You're going to lose some friends. Best believe not everybody is good for your mental health. Not everybody is great for your spiritual, emotional, physical well-being. No, there are people who are just unnecessary in your life. Some people you need to let go of. And the earlier you identify these people and you let go of them, the better and the best for you present and for you in the future. Now, holding on to them will only delay your progress. You have heard some people have bad spirits and their bad spirits have a way of doing juju and voodoo over your life, over your dreams, over your goals, over your purpose. That's just how it is. Holding on to them will only delay your progress. Identify the people you need to let go of and do so. Now, don't get me wrong. I know it can be so difficult to do this because of the level of attachments we've built over time. So it's so hard. Oh, can I leave without this person? Can I breathe? if this person is not around me can i be okay or rather will i be okay if i sit and the reality of life hits me that i do not have this person anymore in my corner will i be okay regardless of all this the back and forth the befores and the afters you still have to let go of them you lose to gain Take yourself out of unnecessary situations. Oh my God. Take yourself out of unnecessary situations. You are not created to end up on a merry-go-round. No direction. Just turning around until you get tired. You wake up and continue the same routine. Best believe. And I want to believe on your behalf. That is not what life has in stock for you. You are created to go around circle, circling particular spots every single day, every single month, and doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same result. No, you definitely were not created to live like that. The life you want will cost you time. Oh God, are you ready for this conversation? The life you want will cost you time. You would deliberately emphasize on the word deliberately have to invest your time in order to reap the benefits later. You invest the time to work, to learn, to unlearn and to relearn until you have gotten to that point that you set for yourself. And please believe me, let me tell you before time, it's not going to be easy to get there. You will have series of mental breakdowns, emotional breakdowns. There'll be days you would second guess. Yeah, you will second guess yourself, second guess your choices, second guess almost everything that you were doing. But best believe it's a process and you're headed somewhere. There are days where it doesn't go easy. It doesn't get easy. But you need to constantly remind yourself that you choose the good life and the good life choose you. Now, say this after me. I choose the good life and the good life chooses me. Spoiler alert, <laughs> yes, the good life comes with challenges. Tell yourself that you're up for the challenge. Look, just make yourself feel good about this journey you're about to go on. As if you've not even started. But then if you're on this journey, make yourself still feel good. Let yourself, your inner self and all your characters know that you guys are up for this challenge. And it's nothing to you. You're going to conquer. If you're not a fan of affirmations, I encourage you to get some affirmations. Look, they just boost your self-esteem. They just boost your morale. And then you're pumped up, hyped. And you are ready to take on the challenge. And you will scale through. Now, 
there are gonna be crazy days yes on days where you cry please cry well don't let anybody tell you it's unsafe to cry it's unhealthy to cry it shows you're weak shows you're vulnerable and people would take advantage of you yada 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 i know that line and i know that there are people who are so crazy so so crazy to take advantage of others when they are vulnerable if you have nobody that you trust to get your back you have yourself so it means that you have your own back on days that you cry please cry well let off the heat let off the steam let it go don't stop yourself cry cry very well wipe your tears when you're done get up take a shower and continue the journey Oh, you thought I was going to say, take a shower and take a break? No, darling. Once you take a shower, you're getting set to continue the journey. So on days like this, cry, get up, take a shower, continue the journey. The life you want will completely, completely alter your routine. Trust me, it will alter your routine completely. Now, if you're the lazy type... And you've chosen to, you know, go for the good life. And the good life is beckoning on you. Trust me, you're going to need to work out some hard girl, hard boy routines, habits, and stuff like that. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. I believe in you so much. And I know you can do it. There is nothing that is set before you that you cannot do. Don't ever tell yourself you cannot do it. Don't ever sell yourself short. Even if you're selling to yourself, don't ever sell it short. Don't sell you short. Let yourself know that you can do this. You can get on this journey. You can be better. You can you can do great and you will do great at the end of this. At the very beginning, it may look strange. Trust me. It may look so tiresome, burdensome. It may look like the weight of the world is upon your shoulders. But believe you me, this is something you can do. Muster up the energy. Muster up the courage. Get used to the weight. Get used to the burden. you notice that once you're getting used to it, you're getting in sync with it. You're going to find a way to walk with the stress. You're going to find a way to work with the burden if that's what you see it as which should not be you're going to find a way to work with the challenges that come with going after the good life why because there's a lot of expectations that you have there's lots of dreams there's lots of visions there's lots of goals like you are so unbelievably great the challenges have nothing on you believe you me look I know you probably don't hear this every day, but you're doing great on this journey. You're doing great. You've sacrificed a lot and you cannot stop now. If you're just starting, you can't even think of going move forward. You cannot think of going back. I understand that it's going to take a whole lot of energy. Deliberately, you're going to have to invest your energy to get the life that you want. But believe you me, it is something that you can do. I believe you. I believe in you. It is something that you can do. You were made for the good life, right? And also, you were made to take on this journey to get the good life that you want. Whether you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be a 9-to-5, -er, whatever it is you want to be, you can do it. You were made for this life. All you have to do is find the energy, find the strength, and you can find it within you to get the life that you want. No one is coming to help you get that life. Look, just in case you've forgotten, you are 100% your responsibility and 100% the responsibility of no one else. So you've got to work hard to get the life that you want. It's not going to be easy late night, sacrifices, stream, streamlining your spending, your expenses, budgeting, saving, deliberately avoiding places that will make you spend more money, shutting your eyes and focusing strictly on the list you have at hand when you get into the supermarket. It is so tasking. But then you're on a journey to self-awareness, to getting a good life, to being financially stable, physically okay, spiritually okay. And all these things you're checking off your list, they need to be things that you resonate with. They need to be things that are important to you. It doesn't have to be that you're doing this because of someone or oh, I want to get the good life because I want to compete with someone. If that is the reason you're doing it, look, it's not going to last. It's definitely not going to last. So let it be that you're doing it for yourself. You are a good enough reason to change your life, to change your diet, 
to change your physical appearance, to change the way that you think, upgrade your level of thinking. And you can only upgrade by reading books, reading books that feed you, reading books that help you grow, books that help you achieve your goals, achieve your dreams. All these things have to be deliberate if you really want to get the life that you want. Otherwise, you would just be on a long thing you'll be sitting on a thin wall that cannot take your weight you'll be sitting on a broken bench so in your quest to get the good life in your quest to want to be better please ensure that you're doing it for yourself first you are as important as every other person in your life so i do not understand why their thoughts their feelings have to come above yours no it's the other way around it's you first, it's you second, it's you before anybody else. So as much as possible, sit down with yourself and your other characters. I like to say other characters because look, sometimes you are a handful. So sit down with yourself, get you a pen, get you a paper. Ask yourself questions. Why do I want to get life? Why am I pursuing this life that I am pursuing? What do I hope to achieve? Will this affect me negatively? Will this affect me positively? Will this help me in actualizing my goals? Will this help me in actualizing my purpose? Will I live a fulfilled life as I'm going on this journey? And if you can answer those questions positively, then I think you're on the right track. So as you've been able to answer these questions, it's left for you to sit down and make a list of the things that you know you need to let go of. Look, your habits can help you to grow or they can mar you. They can help your growth process or they can just mar your growth process. And you would think it's your village people. You don't know that the actual your village people is you. So you are now the enemy of your own progress. And sometimes most people realize it late. It's just late. But then it's never too late. Once you realize that, okay, this is the life I want, and if I don't let go of certain things, it is going to hamper, it is going to stop me from getting the life that I want, the life that I deserve. The onus is on you to stop the things you have to stop. It's going to be hard once it's a habit, so little by little, day in, day out, one day at a time, it's okay, you can make a calendar, 30 days of doing this, 30 days of not doing this and tick off every day you are able to do it. Now, and if you're not able to go through the whole 30 days, it doesn't mean you didn't make effort. It doesn't mean you did not make progress. If you cannot do the whole 30 days this month, maybe you did 20, 15, 12, 17, whatever, go again the next month. We don't stop here because we made mistakes. We stop when we're done. And when we're getting done, it's not going to be anytime soon. So you do that every single day. Take it off. Oh, I did this. I was able to do that. I was able to do this. Okay, this month, this is how I want to improve my life. These are the steps I'll take towards improving my finances. These are the steps I'll take towards improving myself mentally, emotionally, intellectually. When you have a lot of good stuff in your brain and you can piss one or two clothes you have together in your closet and you have your self-esteem in check, I bet you you can stand anywhere. You can stand before anybody and pass your point across to them and they will give you attention. So as you're working on your physicality, please work on your intellectual aspect. Work on the intellectual aspect of your life. As you work on that, work on your mindset. Work on the spiritual aspect of your life. I believe solely in God and you are free to believe in whoever and whatever you believe in. All right. So as you're ticking off of physicality of the list of things that you have to do, you think of intellectual, you think of spiritual, you think of emotional. It's a long list, I know, and there is really no rush. Nobody is rushing you or anything. There's really no rush. Oh, you have to achieve this in two days. You have to achieve this in 10 days. No, I don't believe in overly timing yourself. 
I don't believe in, in rushing. I don't believe in that. I believe that it's a step at a time, right? When you're doing it consciously and deliberately, it begins to form a part of you. It now becomes a part of your life. So, you know, I can't go a day without doing this. I can't go a day without doing this. And this is your journey into self-awareness. This is your journey into getting the life that you want. And then you know that you have to deliberately pay the price. And of course, you're still paying the price now. Look. Let me tell you something. You might not get the instant gratification now. It might not happen now. You might pay the price now. And don't expect the results. Don't expect the benefits now. Leave it for the nearest future. Probably when you're low on one thing or the other. That's when you can get the result of the prices that you paid many months back. Many years back. Be deliberate about it be deliberate if you have to let off toxic people if you have to let go of people who make you second guess yourself who make you second guess your choices who make you feel bad if you make mistakes please go ahead for the sake of your mental health let go of them if they can add nothing of value to your life they shouldn't be a part of your life i believe that we as individuals there is a lot that we can contribute to the lives of others right if you are unwilling to contribute to my life there is no need taking up that space you should actually just go and let me know that that space is vacant and then someone who is of more value to me will come up and fill up that space but when you're really adding no value to my life and all you do is stress me make me second guess myself you make me feel like i'm too i'm too much of a shitty person i can get nothing done look you should leave and you should let go of people who make you feel that way let go of them you just have to sacrifice that you deserve more you deserve better than what they're giving you you deserve better than the bare minimum that they are serving you so don't even accept bare minimum from anybody if you want to improve your life spiritually you want to be a better person spiritually you want to build your relationship with god okay and look, I'm not going to tell you it's an easy journey. It's not easy. If I say it's easy, trust me, I'm lying. Because there are days you don't even know your left from your your right. Uh, there are days you don't even know if you really want to talk to God. Maybe because you're going through a whole lot, you're going through difficult situations. You just look at yourself and be like, today I really do not even want to speak to anybody, not even God. Days like that, you just have to drag yourself out of bed. Yes, get yourself up and try read your bible say your prayers have your personal devotion with god fast if you can if you have days that you fast you fast pray to god seek the face of god and let him know the things that you are planning to do and with all that everything should go as planned so we've come to the end of today's video thank you guys for watching remember to like to share and to subscribe i will see you guys in my next video Enjoy the rest of your day.